Okay, so remember that very important word that I said when you're talking about blockchain. What is that word? Decentralization. Now, all these private blockchains, they're not, not decentralized. And, uh, uh, and every instance of a private blockchain where they're trying to do something can be built faster, better, cheaper with existing skills and existing technology uh, uh, it's without using a blockchain. So all the use cases that we see today in terms of banks and securities companies even, you know, like uh, Strait and the stock exchanges and that, they're all trying to create these private blockchains to facilitate some aspect of their business. And they are all becoming quite cynical. This is, a, this is the, what I, I, you know, being on the inside and seeing all this happen, they all have this kind of like face of, you know, where they're like, oh, this is, it just doesn't seem to be working out. It's just too, you know, it's too dumb to put something on a blockchain when I can just use a SQL database and I can use existing APIs. So um, I think that's why the bubble is about to pop. You know, we've now had a year or two or three of these POCs in banks um, in securities companies, and they are realizing that blockchain isn't this amazing technology that's going to make things better, cheaper, faster. It's actually this clunky technology that's complicated and, and it needs to, to be you know, uh, re-engineered to basically look exactly like what the tech is that they have already. And in fact, uh, this, there's an example of this that you can see. Where there's this very famous uh, blockchain company called R3, which is no longer a blockchain company. R3, I don't know if you've heard of them. They're this big consortium. They've got all these banks around the world, maybe even contacted you. And what they did was they created a, a technology and uh, they've now come out and said, okay, listen, we tried blockchain, it's not a good thing to, blockchain is not a good idea. We're gonna remove the idea of blockchain out of this technology. So we're not a blockchain company anymore. Blockchain isn't good in terms of you know, what banks need and the, that sort of thing. So um, scrap the blockchain idea. And I think you're gonna see more and more of this happen where, where banks like yours who are POCing and investigating blockchain tech are gonna realize, hang on, this is dumb. You know, uh, the whole point was to try and create a decentralized network, and we don't have that. So why are we doing this? And uh, if you guys haven't come to that conclusion yet, I think you will. But again, I don't know the future. I just know what's happening now. And I'm, as a technologist myself, somebody who's built systems for banks, I, real, I, you know, I realize pretty soon, and that's why I, I'm, I'm so now back into Bitcoin and so happy for it, um, because all this other stuff, it, it, it's going nowhere. It's a dead end. So um, that's why I say the immediate opportunity. That was the title of the slide. Um, you know, the immediate opportunity is this currency thing, this cryptocurrency thing. If you guys want to stay relevant, get with it. Figure out what value you can add around the cryptocurrency. Don't think about how you can re-engineer your tech to support blockchain. I think you're going to fail, spend a lot of money, and, and have a lot of, like, you know, dissatisfaction with that. Pessimist. <laughs>